This is question number 33 on the Algebra 2 practice test. Um, the question asks, uh, says, in a large neighborhood, the values of homes are normally distributed with a mean of $102,000 and a standard deviation of 17000 There is a 47.5% probability that the value of a randomly selected home in the neighborhood is greater than 102000 and less than some amount of money. What is the closest to the value of D? Now, the key here is that it's normally distributed. The other point is that you have a formulas page. So let's just go to the back of the formulas page. The number has to be greater than 102. The reason that you're using the formulas page is because it gives you a nice graphic of what the values are. Now, the normal curve distribution states that you have about 68% between the first of uh, the one standard deviation a deviation below and one above. So we're starting definitely at the mean because the question says $102,000 is the mean. So I'm definitely starting here. So I need to find 47.5% more than that mean value. What I'm going to do is remember that, oh yeah, these are broken in half. So I'm going to find half of 68%. Or I could find, uh, so let's do 68 divided by 2. That would give me 34. I could also go in and look at half of 95%. Oh my goodness, it's 47.5. So half of this distance from here to here is, sorry, from here to here is 47.5. So that would mean that from here to here is 47.5. Well, this says that the bottom number is the mean value, and this is the, uh, the mean value plus two standard deviations. See, I just did a little bit of this really hard stuff called division to find 47.5 as half that number. So from here to here. So what I'm going to do is go back, find the question. Here it is, number 33. It says the standard deviation is 17. So if my bottom number is 102, I'm going to add 2 times 17,000. So 102 not 120, 102,000 plus 2, two times 17,000 gives me 136,000. So 47.5% of the data falls between 136,000 and 102,000. There's 136,000 right there. So really that's a pretty simple question if you remember to go back and use the formulas page.